Hi, this is Bill Mara. I'm in London. My call is M0HBR and I'm part of the Solder Smoke team. We've been trying to figure out a way to present videos derived from the simulator program LT Spice. And thanks to the help from George at the Amateur Logic TV group, we have the technology and we're going to try to present our first Spice cast today. What I want to do is go over to LT Spice, show you how the program works, and use the program to demonstrate how saturation affects the efficiency of Class C amplifiers. Let's see if it works. Here's a very simple Class C amplifier using a 2N2222 transistor. I have 12.7 volts DC in the collector circuit. I'm using a diode here just to make the voltage source behave like a power supply or a battery would. I have a 144 ohm resistor as the load and the amplifier is being fed by a 1 megahertz sine, sine wave signal at 0.8 volts peak. Let's take a look at some of the waveforms as displayed by LT Spice. Hit the run command it'll scope up on the top First, just so that everybody gets a picture of what's happening at the input, I'll plot the voltage at the input. And there it is. You can see we're looking at one cycle, actually one cycle of, of input signal, because we're looking at one microsecond of time with a one megahertz signal. So, of course, that means we're looking at one cycle. What I want to look at in this video is the effect of drive and the effect of load on the efficiency of the amplifier. Um, I, I did this because I was curious after reading in a book that Class C amplifiers become much more efficient if they're driven into saturation. Let's start out by taking a look at what's happening in terms of efficiency right now. LT Spice illustrates this very well. If I put the ammeter on the load here it is, and then if I click the Alt button, it turns into a thermocouple and measures power. There we go. There we, we can see that right now, in terms of power going out, as you'd expect with a Class C amplifier, power is only going out during a portion of the cycle when the, uh, when the input signal is rising above the 0.6 or so volt point at which the transistor turns on. Power output at that point is about a peak of about 240 milliwatts. Let's take a look at this point and see how much power is being dissipated in the transistor. Again, the same thing. I put the ammeter on the transistor, I hit the ALT button, it turns it to a thermocouple, and there. So in the green you see power out, which is at about 240 milliwatts peak. The red illustrates the amount of power being dissipated in the transistor, which is at a very similar level. And uh, so you could see efficiency is is only about I just eyeballed it about 50 percent here let's see what happens if we if we drive the the transistor a little bit harder and drive it into saturation we could do this by changing the amount of signal coming in I just go down here um, and I can change here 0.8 and I'll change it to 0.85 okay and then we run it we run the simulation again and we'll see what happens uh, there you see it look what's happened. At the same point in the input cycle we now have a green curve showing output of approximately 720 milliwatts uh, peak and look what's happened to the power being dissipated in the transistor. There's a big dip there as the transistor goes into saturation and the amount being dissipated there, oh just eyeballing it, looks like at about oh about a hundred milliwatts right there. So you get a dramatic increase in inefficiency by driving the Class C amp into saturation as predicted by uh, by the books. Uh, one, one, thing else I'd like to, one other thing I'd like to do is go back, let's go back to where we were in the beginning. Um, 0.8 volts at 1 megahertz driving it, there we were, there's the familiar situation. Theory tells us that we should be able to put the amplifier stage into saturation not only by increasing the uh, the input level 
but by increasing the uh, the size of the load and increasing the voltage drop across the load. So I'll do that right now. I'll change the 144 ohms through the magic of LT Spice, change it to 244 ohms, and let's see what happens in our simulation. I'll hit the run button, and there you see it. Um, a similar effect. Not not you got a, you got a, a decrease in in power out there, but um, the similar effect on efficiency. So um, anyway, that's uh, I think a little interesting demonstration of what happens to Class C amp efficiency when you do drive the amplifier into saturation or change the load in such a way that it will go into saturation. And I also hope it's a good illustration of the uh, the usefulness and power of LT Spice. Thanks.